Peace. You were grade 85, aka The Last Dragon. I'm doing a contest entry for my main man, my boy, JX Rico. Uh, it's 250 subs contest, and um, congratulations. You've come a long way. Um, you make some great videos, and uh, I can only hope that you can reach 500 by the end of the year, and you continue to grow your channel. So, congratulations to that. But hey, not here only to congratulate you, I'm also here to win. Win, win, win. Anyway, you asked a few questions. Um, I couldn't remember the top of my head, so you gotta excuse me here. What are your top three horror films? I'm not a big horror, f horror guy, as you guys probably know by now. Um, but I probably have enough to make this uh, question work. All right, number one, it's gotta go to Halloween, the original Halloween directed by John Carpenter. I mean, what hasn't been said about this film? It's uh. It's pretty much a piece of 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 of, of filmmaking, um, how to make a film with with the least amount of money. And there's been countless documentaries and interviews and commentaries that really go in depth and how the how they achieved to make the film and why it worked. And I think everyone loves the fact because of its simplicity, built up so much creativity. That's why the film still works and is so relevant today. And why even the remake couldn't really top that. So the whole atmosphere, the theme music, um, the shape, uh, the performances by Donald Pleasance. Um, of course, the newcomer Jamie Lee Curtis um, make this an instant horror classic. Number two, The Exorcist. That is one scary mother, mother effing movie. <laughs> I uh, recently bought that um, anniversary set. So I haven't watched it yet. I have to find the... <laughs> I gotta find the guts and glory to sit down and, and watch it. But um, the last time I fully watched it was a few years ago. And it, it it's still very effectively shocking. Um, um, the way... I mean, during that time period, the way it was shot. Um, the performances by Linda Blair. Of course, they, it had its own particular theme music. Um, the direction by William Freakin. Um, I can go on and on. It's one of the top um, grossing films of that decade. It's still one of the most talked about films today. It's it's still relevant. I mean, they've got like the exorcism of Billy Joe. It's like it's, it's just gotten ridiculous with all these exorcism films. But people were fascinated by being, you know, exorcised by a demon or the devil. And I don't know. I mean, that's... You know, we have weird fascinations, so I'm sure so I'm an old man, so someone told my kids there'll always be some sort of exorcism movie. But anyway, The Exorcist is number two. Um, number three would be the original Nightmare on Elm Street, directed by Wes Craven, came out in 1984. Of course, the iconic Freddy Krueger. How can you not, not forget him? How can you not be scared of him? Um, in the first two movies, I would say he's very menacing. Um, very scary um, as the movies progressed he became a little more campy um, added much more humor to his um, shtick and I mean to some may say kind of like lessen his uh, his scare factor might have lessened the quality of the series I mean that's up for debate but we're not here to do that we're just here to talk about the top three horror films so um, also you know the story element the whole characters, the introduction of um, Johnny Depp, um, Heather Langenkamp, um, of course, uh, the veteran John Saxon. So it was a well-made film, and of course, you know, came out a particular time in the '80s where you know when you had those other franchises, this became an instant franchise. It it built up New White Cinema from the ground, basically. So yeah, number three, Nightmare on Elm Street. Favorite horror director, um. I don't want to go with like the the conventional pick, which is going to be um, John Carpenter. Um, my, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a wrench in this. I'm going to stay Steve Miner. Um, for, mo for most who don't know, Steve Miner directed uh, Friday the 13th Part 2 and 3. Of course, the iconic. He directed, uh, of course, the infamous uh, one with the Jason Mask, was in Part 3. Um, he did a couple other horror films. Uh, top of my head, I know you like a, like a horror comedy called House. If you haven't seen that, check that out. 
I don't think that's on Netflix. I think that's part two is on. But that that one's a pretty much a, a fun one. Um, oh, and of course, uh, he also directed um, Halloween H2O, which is some may consider one of the best, if not the best, um, Halloween sequel after Halloween 2, uh, or even Halloween, depending on how you want to view that. Um, I'm thinking of some other things that I can't think of top of my head, but I'm throwing his name out there because he probably won't be the conventional pick, so I'm going to say Steve Miner. Number three, favorite horror villain. Well, that should be pretty easy. I'm going to go with the man in the mask. No, nope, not Michael Myers. Jason Voorhees. That mother effer, man. That guy is scary. That guy is brutal. That guy is menacing. Um, I've always been <laughs> a big Jason fan. Um, and depending on which Jason you might like, do you like the, you know, the first four Jason when he was still kind of human, or do you like post zombie Jason from like part six on on up where he's just a big, brutal, menacing, you know, can't hotter, you know, you know. So it all it all depends, but Jason for sure. Favorite horror film? That's a guilty pleasure. Hmm. Um. I don't know. I guess I would say, I guess it's considered a horror horror action. I, w I would say one of the trauma films, probably that Toxic Avenger. That's available to watch on Netflix, by the way. <laughs> it's a very over the top, um, extremely violent, um, gory to to some extent. Terrible acting, campy, um, '80s film. Um, most of you have heard of this title. Um, you know, if you're familiar with trauma films, they make some really over the top stuff. That's just how they do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's definitely a guilty pleasure. I think one weekend I sat through the first two and then I was trying to watch the third. And I was just like, okay, I think I need a break from this. It's getting a little bit weird. But yeah, that's probably my guilty pleasure, the Toxic Avenger. My favorite horror theme. Um, sorry, man. Halloween, man. That that thing. That thing gets you every time. Um. John Carpenter uh, composed it. I mean, it's so iconic. I mean, every time that that theme's being played, it's like cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Like you see, like the dollar signs next to John Carpenter's head. The guy must get tons of royalty every time it's played on TV over the world you know um from the dvds on up so if you notice from part two on down they 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 lessen the theme i because i assume they're gonna have to pay him money so from part two they have another guy i forgot his name who does who composes the music he takes parts of his theme and he kind of alters it and if you watch like part four and five especially especially part five like they don't they hardly play the theme it's because I guess every time they play it, they're gonna have to pay him, and they wouldn't. I guess they didn't want to do that. So, but what's a Halloween movie without that iconic theme? So, definitely my favorite horror theme is John Carpenter's Halloween. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my uh, conscious entry. I aims to win, so forget the rest. I'm the winner. But uh, again, go shout out to JX Rico. I know most of y'all sub to him, so if you don't, please do so, and peace.